Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Shane here. So I just got done watching Tiger King and uh, I'm a little bit heated. Smash like if you think Carol Baskin killed her husband. Gently tap like if you have no idea what I'm talking about. But this video is gonna be about the top science degrees out there because there is a lot of misinformation. And specifically, I'm gonna go over a lot of the most popular ones. Now, a lot of people think that you can just about get any science degree and you'll be set for life. You'll be good, you'll just walk around the rest of your life with a lab coat, a clipboard, and a smug look on your face. But the truth is there are a lot of science degrees out there that aren't that good, and then there's some that are decent, and then there's some some that are really good. Now, as always, it's important that you never forget for the rest of your life to immediately smash that like button, especially if you think that Carol Baskin killed her husband. Carol Baskin. Because she probably put sardine oil all over him, killed him, and then fed him to the tigers. Let's be honest. And just as a reminder, these videos are just my opinion based on my own life experience, as well as a ton of research that I always do for these videos. So always make sure to do your own research. Don't just believe a stranger on the internet. Number eight on the list is going to be biology, and this is a very popular major with 64,000 graduates a year. The starting pay is pretty low at $43,000 a year, and it's actually pretty difficult to get a job. However, once you've established yourself, the mid-career pay is almost $80,000 a year, which is not too bad. Now, this is one of those careers where there's not that many people that are working as a biologist, but there's a ton of people graduating with a biology degree. And I always tell people to be cautious when there's not a very clear path to whatever career you're pursuing with the degree that you're getting. And many people do end up going to graduate school because the employment outlook isn't that good for people that graduate with a biology degree. And this is what happened to a really good friend of mine. She got her degree in biology because she was planning on going to medical school. Later on, she decided she didn't wanna be a doctor, but she was still stuck with the biology degree. Finding a job was extremely difficult, so she ended up going back to graduate school and getting her doctorate. And this is a relatively saturated degree overall, and I think it's another one that's pretty overrated if I'm being honest. But overall, it can be a good one if you're smart about it and you have a really solid plan. Number seven on the list is going to be neuroscience. And neuroscience is the study of the brain and the nervous system for people and animals. Now this one isn't as popular as some of the other majors on the list. There's only around 3,000 degrees awarded per year. However, it does rank a lot better than the previous ones on the list when it comes to your salary. You make around $46,000 on average as a new grad and then 87,000 mid-career pay. The meaning is a little bit lower on this one at around 59%, although that's still higher than the average for all professions. And this is another one that has the same problem where very few people who graduate with a neuroscience degree end up becoming neuroscientists, and many of them also end up having to go back to school to get their master's or their doctorate, or they end up working in a completely unrelated field. But overall, it's another degree that's decent but not amazing, and it's a little bit better than the other two options. Number six on the list is going to be food science, and this one really surprised me. And food science is basically what it sounds like. It's the study of everything that has to do with food. Now there's only about 1000 degrees awarded per year for this one. So it's not as popular as a lot of the other ones, but the starting pay is around 49,000 a year. And the mid career pay is an impressive 91,600. However, the meaning score is pretty low at about 43%. And that's one of the lowest scores on the entire list because science degrees tend to have higher meaning than most other types of degrees. And one career you could get into is becoming an agricultural and food scientist. The pay is 64,000 a year and there are 35,000 jobs with a 7% growth rate, which is decent. Now this one is pretty niche, unfortunately, or niche. I know people make fun of the way I say niche, but that's just the way I say it. And what I mean by that is you'll likely have to move somewhere in order to get a job. But overall, this is actually a really decent choice. And if you're obsessed with food like I am, it might be pretty attractive to you. Number five on the list is going to be a chemistry degree. And this is another one that's pretty popular. There's about 12,000 graduates a year, and this one is better than biology when it comes to the stats. You start off at about $48,000 a year, and it gets up to $92,000 a year when you get to the mid-career pay. The meaning score is a bit above average at 55%, but nothing special. One career path you could go down and become is a chemist and material scientist. It pays around 78,000 a year, which is pretty good for a science-related profession that doesn't require you to get a doctorate. There are 95,000 jobs available and a 4% growth rate. Overall, this one is clearly a lot better than biology when it comes to stats. And it's another one that you really only want to do it if you're truly passionate about it because the money's not that amazing and your job prospects are kind of average. Next on the list is going to be geology and it's going 
going to be the study of the Earth's physical structure as well as the processes that act on it, such as rocks and minerals. There's about 4,300 geology degrees awarded every single year. Now the stats for geology are actually pretty good. You start off at about 47,000 a year and mid-career you'll be making around 89,000. The meaning score is about 53%, which is slightly above average. Now a lot of geologists actually end up going into the natural gas industry, which tends to pay really well. One example of a job they could transition into is a geoscientist, which pays over 91,000 a year and has decent job growth. Overall, this is one of the better ones, but you'll likely have to move somewhere in order to get a really good job. Number three on the list is going to be biochemist. Biochemistry is basically what it sounds like. It's a combination of biology and chemistry, and there's over 6,000 graduates a year. And this one also has pretty good stats, especially for a science degree. They start off at around 47,000 a year, and after 10 years, they're making around 93,000, and it has a pretty decent meaning score at 59%. This one is definitely a better option than biology, and it's a slightly better option than chemistry. There's more you can do with a degree and more opportunities out there, which makes it more versatile and flexible. And you might even be able to find a job without having to move somewhere. Biochemistry is also a really good undergraduate degree for you if you wanna transition into healthcare. Let's say you wanna become a doctor, physician assistant, nurse practitioner, pharmacist, something along those lines. You might actually be able to get a job without having to go back to graduate school as well, so that's pretty nice. Now, if you're really passionate about chemistry, but the stats scare you a little bit, you might wanna consider going into chemical engineering. Number two on the list is going to be aerospace or aeronautical science. Now, this is one that a lot of people actually overlook, but aerospace has over 3,000 graduates a year, and the stats are pretty good. And this is basically where you study about anything that flies through the air. So we're talking jets, airplanes, rockets, satellites. It has some of the best statistics out of the entire list, starting at 72,000 a year and getting to 114,000 by mid-career, which is excellent. It also has a pretty good meaning score at 64%, which is well above average. Now this is one where you'll likely have to move somewhere in order to find a job, but there's some really excellent opportunities here. Physics is going to be number one on this list and there's over 5,000 graduates a year. The pay is really good. It starts off around 60,000 a year and mid-career pay is gonna be 113,000. It does have a relatively low meaning score of 48% though, which is below average. Now this is one of the most well-respected degrees out there because it might actually be the hardest degree that you can get. You have to be really smart and also a really hard worker because you're going against the best of the best, the smartest people out there. But because of how difficult it is, a lot of companies like to hire physics majors, even if it has nothing to do with what they learned in school. Many of them go on to become computer scientists, for instance, where companies value their unique skills. And this is a very versatile and flexible degree where you'll definitely be able to get a job with just a four-year bachelor's degree. I think the big thing about this one, which is true for almost all of the science degrees, is you really really have to do your research because it's not extremely obvious what your future job is going to be. You know, very few physics majors become physicists. Talk to professors and graduates about different careers out there and then just, you know, look them up and see if any of them appeal to you. Make sure to watch my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any ideas, thoughts, comments you have on the video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.